Less than three weeks to the start of hockey season today. The Minnesota Wild are inviting fans to help them flood the ring. For the first time, they're calling on people to bring their local pond or lake water to XL Energy Center. Kylie is live at the X this morning with more. Kylie, this is such a fantastic idea. Isn't it? We were just talking about how much I love this because people are going to come and they're going to watch the the players on the ice and they're going to know that they had a part of it. We have John with us from the Minnesota Wild this morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thanks for being here. We are so excited and I love this idea. So tell us, tell us how it works. You bring your own lake water, pond water, whatever it is. Absolutely. You know, here in Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes yep. in the winter, they turn into 10,000 <laughs> rinks. Yep. So we know there's people all over the state that love their, their pond or their lake that they like to skate on in the winter. So we're inviting them to bring water from those lakes and ponds. Uh, three ounces or less to the arena tomorrow. This ZAM is going to be right outside gate one here at XL Energy Center starting at 6 a.m. You can put your water directly into the tank of the ZAM. Okay. And that water will get filtered before <laughs> it gets added to our ice. But then I was curious where they're going to be. Is seaweed yeah. floating around? But it all gets filtered out. Get all that stuff out and then it'll be added to our ice on Sunday. This ZAM will make a run around the ice and, and it'll get added. And the cool thing is uh, every time you watch a game then you know that a little bit of your community, a little yeah. bit of your favorite rink is a part of our home ice sheet. Which is, I think, just awesome. So this will be the ice that's with us for pretty much the whole season, right? Or just comes yep. in from the Zamboni. I mean, there's so many ice resurfaces yeah. that are done over the course of the year. But right now, it's early in the year. We're just making that base of ice right now. So hopefully, yeah, your little bit of ice gets to hang around. Yep. Yeah, love it. Okay, what else is going on tomorrow? Uh, it's a busy day. We have our 5K and 10K run that starts at 830 in the morning, right in front of XL Energy Center on Kellogg Boulevard. We also have our single game tickets going on sale. The games are starting pretty soon yeah. too. So you can buy tickets to the regular season game starting at 9 a.m. here at the box office. And then at 9.30, where you have a practice, our, our team just started camp yesterday. And uh, we have a practice open to the public from 9.30 to noon. What are you excited about for this year? Uh, I'm excited because we have our best team ever. Basically last year, our best record ever, mostly back with a few tweaks. And so we're excited to get going again. Any uh, kind of previews? Do you have any secrets? Have you been kind of listening in on what you know, what's going on behind the scenes? Uh, I heard Bruce uh, Boudreau, our head coach, talking yesterday just about how this time of year is like Christmas time for yeah. him because he, it's the anticipation of getting on the ice with the players and then getting started again. So we all feel that. Absolutely. And I think the fans feel it too because, you know, they're back to school. We're into September and now it's time to start thinking about hockey season. Okay, so tomorrow, what do people need to bring the, the water in? Uh, they should have a sealed container of three ounces or less. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're expecting hundreds of fans. So yeah. that'll be a lot of water when it's all put together. And, uh, yeah, collected from your favorite lake, pond. Uh, could be your, your favorite ice rink. A lot of folks have shown okay. us that they're scraping the snow off of their favorite uh, arena rink at, in their community and bringing that water. So all kinds of different ways to do it. Awesome. Just a way to get everyone involved. John, thank you so much for thank getting you. up early with us this morning. You got the Zamboni right behind us. And, again, that starts at 6 a.m. tomorrow, guys. How cool is this idea? So we love it, Kylie. And we have all mm -hmm. brought, we all uh, here on the show have brought oh. samples from some of our favorite Lakes. Okay, where are they from? Uh, well, thanks Obviously, for Kim's is from Minnetonka. Yeah, I, I've, got, I've got a little Minnetonka water right here. Right? Nice. Pure. And Allie okay. brought water as well. I don't know. The, can, Mississippi? Tap? Mighty Mississippi, maybe? Allie brought uh, Minneapolis, tap water. Minneapolis tap water, which is oh, from the Mississippi. Oh, come on, right? Allie. You should have walked down to the river. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm not positive, but LaCroix is from the St. Croix, right? Yep. Is that? Yes. <laughs> so Matt brought yeah. that. All right. Yeah. This Matt, is my favorite you live water. right by Minnehaha Falls. You, what were you thinking? This was right in my fridge, though. One of the most so. iconic parts of Minnesota in your backyard, and you didn't go take advantage of it I feel like on that beautiful day yesterday. Well, you know what else is iconic? Pomplemousse. It is. So he's where'd got that. Your water from, and Jason? I brought that some one. water Jason, as well. Jason, where's yours? Um, uh oh. Oh no. It's I'm not. Oh no. Um, is it toilet the, water? Did you bring filter. toilet water? Well, it's not no, toilet no, water. No, it might be the Mississippi. <laughs> but this, is that just it's a little a bad day. It's a little bourbon? muddy. Is that bourbon? In it's straight bourbon. Very yeah. muddy, it's Kylie. Fine. It's good. Uh -oh. It's fine. But they I can't see it. I'm just assuming that it's not good. It isn't. Yeah. No. <laughs> you yeah. wouldn't want to drink good. it. Let's this is really good. You'll see this on the internet labeled it later. This is this is quality content that we're providing. You're Thanks, welcome. Kylie. <laughs> all right, pretty soon the Minnesota Wild will be skating on ice that comes from lakes and ponds all across the state. This is the coolest idea it ever. Is. It's part of the team's Flood the Rink event happening on Saturday. And Kylie Burris is live at the Excel Energy Center to explain what this is all about. Kylie fans can also get their hands on new jerseys this morning, or should I say sweaters? They sure can. Yep, and this is, this is the brand new jersey, and this is the first day that fans can actually buy them. So pretty exciting. There's a lot of new details um, part of this, and we have John here with us from the Wild this morning. Good morning. How you doing? Thanks for 
for being here. Doing great, and I, especially because I really feel like I'm a part of the team wearing the jersey. Uh, yeah, we're really proud of the new jerseys. Uh, uh, all the NHL clubs introduced new jerseys this, uh, this summer around the draft in June. But today and for the next six days here at the Hockey Lodge, be the exclusive opportunity for fans to first get their hands on them. Awesome. Okay, tomorrow, this is, I think, a brilliant idea. You are letting people collect water from their own lakes and ponds in their backyards, and that will be a part of the rink this season. That's right. We're going to mix all the water that fans bring starting tomorrow uh, at 6 a.m. You can bring water down to the arena right out in front of Gate 1 from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll be collecting it in our This Is Our Ice Zamboni. If you can't make it to the event tomorrow, we will be doing a collection at each regular season home game as well. Perfect. So you can bring it all season long. That's right. Awesome. Okay. And you do only bring three ounces, right? We're asking people to uh, limit it to three ounces if they're taking it from public waters. Okay. If you're if you're scraping it off of your rink, uh, your community ice rink, and and melting the snow, that can be more. But we we have a great partnership with the DNR, and we're asking people to limit their. Uh, what they collect from public waters to three ounces. Yeah, don't come in with an entire bucket full and um, maybe try and keep like the part particulates and the, the seaweed out. That's right. We're going <laughs> to filter the water, but if, if, you, if you take care to, as you're collecting it to maybe <laughs> watch the critters, that'd be great. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, what else is going on tomorrow? I know it's a big day for you guys all day long. Yep, we have our, our 10K and 5K run, the wild breakaway that starts at 830. We have our single game tickets. Uh, going on sale for the first time tomorrow. So the, get the game that you want and you know you want to get to. Tomorrow's the day to get it. And then our uh, wild uh, team is on the ice at 930 till about noon for an open practice that fans are welcome to come down and check out. Awesome. Okay, some of the things I love when we were talking about these jerseys and some of the details here are really things that the Wild actually asked for. In particular, like this little stitching, you said that that was something that the equipment manager used to actually put in their jerseys. Yep, we had to tie up a collar on our old sweaters that our equipment managers, in order to manage them a little better, kind of created this uh, unique look. And when Adidas came on as our partner this year, they adopted the look that our equipment managers had uh, built into our sweaters and made it a part of the jersey option. So you see a lot of teams this year with that as part of their sweater. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the season getting started. This is going to be a lot of fun and three ounces or less. And then again, you have to come down to the Hockey Lodge to get the jerseys. They're really, really nice. This is um, maybe just a little big on me, but I think I still think I rock it. You do, Kylie. Yeah, you could be a member of the team. I would know no difference. I, I would like to think that I'm already on my way there. Oh, so close. Just need to learn how to skate. That would <laughs> help. Minor details. <laughs> Kylie, thank you.